Once you sign up with MailChimp and you log into your account, this is going to be your dashboard area. Up here is the header menu, and this is where all of the magic happens. Now we need at least one list in order to create embedded signup forms. So what you want to do now is click on lists and you can see here MailChimp is giving you the option to add a pop-up form to your website or an embedded signup form. And I'll show you how to do all of these things in a second. But what we're going to do now is scroll down and we want to click on go to list settings. So you can see here for list name, MailChimp have automatically added my business name. So I'm happy with that. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Now, if you scroll down, we can choose from these settings here. So we've got the option of enabling double opt-in. I don't recommend this because you really want to keep things simple with your subscribers. You don't want to give them too many tasks to do because they might end up not subscribing. So I'm going to leave this out. Here we have enabled GDPR fields. So if you're sending emails to European subscribers, then you need to check this box because this is a legal requirement as of May 2018. And then we have this option here where subscribers need to confirm that they are not a robot. And I'm not going to check this box because again, we want to keep things simple. If I scroll down here. Okay, so here for default from name, MailChimp have automatically added my business name, Natural Vita. So I'm happy with that. As you can see here, it says this is the name your emails will come from. Use something your subscribers will instantly recognize like your company name. So it can also be your personal name if that's what they know you by. So I do recommend that you add in your website email address in this area here. If you want to know how to create an email address for your WordPress domain, I've made a detailed tutorial on how to do that. So I will link it in the description box, but also at the end of the video. So I'm going to leave this as it is because this is a tutorial. So here you have more options. You can check this box where it says send a final welcome email. So I'm going to check this box here. So yes, send a final welcome email. And here you can attach, for example, an ebook, a free gift. So in this final area here, you can get notifications when a new subscriber subscribes to your list or when they unsubscribe from your list. Now it says here not recommended for large lists just because you're going to be bombarded by MailChimp every time somebody unsubscribes or subscribes. However, if you're just starting off, then I do recommend this option so that you're on track with how many people are subscribing to your list. Or what's even better is you can get a daily summary. So you can add in an email address here where you want this information to be sent. Okay, so once you're happy with all of this, you can save list and campaign defaults. So you can see this is the list we've created, Natura Vita. So the general data protection regulation form is going to be added. So the next step is to create a sign up form for our list here. And to do that, we want to click on the name of our list. In my case, that's Natura Vita. Now here where it says sign up forms, click on that. So you have several options here. The first option is to build a basic form. So this is an example of a general form. So just a basic sign up form and GDPR has been enabled for this form as well. So they need to select which kinds of emails that they want to receive from me. Now an embedded form is this. So basically what it means is you're embedding your sign up form into your website. This particular one here I created on Fiverr. So I asked somebody on Fiverr to make this for just $5. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this embedded signup form. Now to create this signup form here, uh, there's a particular plugin that you can use for your WordPress website. I've made a detailed tutorial on how to do this. It takes about eight minutes or so to do. So I will link that tutorial at the end of this video and in the description box. And then finally, subscriber pop-up form. All right, now this is an example of a subscriber pop-up form. And this is a pop-up form that will pop up when subscribers visit my website. So let me show you how to create all of these three sign-up forms now. So I am here at my list, Natura Vita. So I'm going to click on Form Builder. If you want to get rid of the name of your list here so that subscribers don't see the name of your list, then you can click on remove. I'm going to do that here. Now, if you want to edit this section here, click on edit. 
to add image, you want to click on this icon here and then click on upload. I'm going to add this image here of the pancake. So you can see it's uploading. Here you can adjust the size of your image. I'm going to make this 250. If you type the width in here, the height will automatically readjust itself because it says here keep proportions. Save and insert. There you go. All right, then I'm going to add a bit of text. Okay, so I've just written here, your details will be held in the strictest confidence and will not be passed on to any third parties. You can either align left, you can center the text by clicking on center here. And um, you can also center your image. You can see my cursor is right there next to the image and then click on center. I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard just to put a space in between the image and the text. And once I'm happy, I can save and close. If you want to delete any of these fields here, what you need to do is click outside the box. So I want to remove the last name option. So I don't want them to add their last name here. I don't want to make it all too complicated. And then you will see the plus or minus icon. I'm going to click minus and type delete in capital letters and delete. So that's how you delete a field. So you can see here MailChimp has automatically added this field here where it says address, where people can then fill out their address information. If you don't want your subscribers to have to do that, so for example, you don't have the intention of sending them a postcard at some point in life, then you can also delete this section here by clicking outside of the field. And also just to let you know, if you want to add any extra field to your signup form, this is where you can do that. So if you want your subscribers to add their zip code, for example, then you want to click here where it says zip code and it will add it to this signup form. And then this is where you can edit the different field options. So I'm not interested in their zip code, so I'm just going to delete. So because I selected GDPR when I was creating my list, you can see MailChimp have added this field in here. So here for the field label, I'm going to call it GDPR and marketing permission. So people are very clear about what this is about. For description, please select all of the ways you would like to hear from that Travita. I'm going to leave that as it is. So the options section is very important and it's here that you are allowing your subscribers to choose exactly what kind of emails they like to receive from you. So if you want to edit this section, simply write here what kind of emails that you are offering to your subscribers. So in my case, I usually send recipe emails. If you want to delete any of the options, you can click on the minus icon. And if you want to add more options, you can click on add an option here. You can check this box here if you want people to choose at least one option from the options that you provide here. So I'm going to check the box. And then here you have the legal text. So you can unsubscribe at any time by clicking the link in the footer area. So I'm happy with what this says. So I'm going to click on save fields. And there you go. You can see now it's added the different email options to the GDPR form. Now I'm going to show you how you can add embedded forms to your website. This is the only list that I've created. So Natra Vita and sign up forms. So it's the same way that we got to it the last time. And rather than form builder, I'm going to click on embedded forms. So you can see you have different kinds of embedded forms that you can add to your website. You've got this one, which is classic. You've got condensed, which only asks for their email address. You've got horizontal and you've got unstyled which I don't recommend. And then you have the advanced feature as well, which is for paid customers. So I'm going to go with classic. So rather than subscribe to our mailing list, I'm going to add here, get 15 free recipes and raw honest wisdom today. So if I click on this box here, it will only ask for their email address. However, I do also want them to add their first name when they sign up because when I'm sending emails, I like to include their first name in the email as well, just to make the email more personal. 
So once you have edited this area here and you've chosen the form that you like, the next step is to copy the code here and then you need to paste it onto your website. So that's what I'm going to do now. I have a WordPress website. So what I want to do is I want to add the embedded form on the right hand sidebar of my website here. So I'm here at my WordPress website. This is the dashboard area. So I'm going to scroll down and here where it says appearance, you want to hover over appearance and then click on widgets. Then you want to scroll down. This is the text tab. I'm just going to drag it all the way to the right hand sidebar. I'm going to dump it at the top here and then I'm going to paste that code in here. Once I save it and I refresh my home page here, it should add the form right here. There you go. And it has also automatically adjusted the size of the form. Now, the final thing I want to show you how to do is add an embedded pop-up form to your website. And to do that, all you have to do, just going back to my lists here, again, click on sign up forms. And this time I'm going to select subscriber pop-up. So you have different formats here that you can choose from. If you choose modal, you can add GDPR fields. However, if you choose slide or fixed, you won't be able to add GDPR fields to the form. So I'm going to choose modal and I'm going to add a photo here and then upload a photo. So I'm going to select this photo and then insert. There you go, it's inserted that image in there. Now if I scroll down, here where it says display, you have several options here. You can choose after five seconds. So that means that when people visit your website, the pop-up will show after five seconds. You have 20 seconds or when they scroll to the middle of the page, to the bottom of the page or when they exit out. So what I'm going to choose is the scroll to middle of the page. So that means that they are somewhat interested in my content already. So if I click on this second part here where it says fields, apart from email address, you can also ask subscribers to fill in their first name. So I'm going to check this option. Also for GDPR, if that's enabled, now I'm going to leave all of these checked because I want my subscribers to have the opportunity to choose the different email options that they want. Also, if you want to edit this button here, what you want to do is click on design, scroll right to the bottom, and here where it says button style, you can see that you can change the text color. So right there where it says subscribe, you can change that color and you can also change the background color. So the final thing I want to do is change the wording here. So I'm going to modify that text to say, get 15 free recipes and raw honest wisdom today. So I'm going to just make this larger, the text. So 24 is okay. And I want to center it as well. Okay, that looks much better. So here we've got the final message at the end. So I'm happy with this message. So I'm going to publish. Okay, now I'm going to view code and I'm going to copy this code and then embed it to my website. So what I want to do is I'm going to add my pop-up to my latest blog post, but you can also add it to your homepage if you want to do that. You can add it to any page really on your website. Okay, so this is my blog post. Um, instead of visual, I'm going to select text and I'm going to put it right at the top here. I'm just going to paste that code in there. And you can see you've got two movie icons. All right, and that's going to then pop up when people read my post. Now you can also add it, of course, to your homepage for example. So this is my blog post page. Also be aware that if you're trying this on your website and your pop-up pops up and you click X, that means that the pop-up won't pop up anymore on your website. Just be aware of this. So this is how you can create sign-up forms with MailChimp and also how to enable GDPR fields with MailChimp. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Take care and bye-bye.